In today's video, it's going to be a quick one. I'm just going to show you how simple it is to create additional local networks in Synology's RT6600 AX router. Now, last week I did a video on this device's safe access features, and I'll link to that video here up above. Enough said, let's get started with today's video. Okay, so I'm signed into my Synology RT6600 AX. Let's come over to the network center and get started. We'll come over down to local network. Here we're looking at the two networks that Synology gives us by default. We have our primary network and a guest network. We cannot delete these, but we can edit them. So let's start off by just editing the guest network. Let's click on that and come up to the edit button. And here you can see the local IP is 192.168.2.1. Let's just make that 20.1. It's a class C network and we're gonna make VLAN ID 20. We're not going to allow managing the router through this network because we don't want a guest network to have access to the management interface of the router. And then we are going to leave enable network isolation checked. And you can see here, it says the communication between this network and other local networks will be blocked. So that's exactly what we would want for a guest network. Let's go ahead and click on the Wi-Fi settings. By default, it sets up a Wi-Fi network called Synology Guest, and we can edit that, but we're gonna leave that for now. Let's come over to the DHCP tab, and we need to update the DHCP subnet range. So we're gonna make this 192.168.20.2 to 20.254, and then we're gonna update the gateway to 20.1 and the primary DNS to 20.1. And if you want, you can give it a secondary DNS and then we'll come over and we'll click on OK. OK, now that we've updated our guest network, before we create an additional network, let's click on the primary network. There's one change I do want to make. Let's click on the Edit button and let's come over to the Advanced tab. And by default, Synology enabled UPnP. Let's go ahead and just disable that and click OK. Now that we have UPnP disabled, we can go ahead and create our first additional network. So let's create an IoT network for all our IoT devices. So let's come up to the Create button. We'll give it a name and we'll just call it IoT. And we're going to make the local IP range 192.168.10.1. Again, it's a Class C 24 network. And we're going to leave the VLAN ID set to 10. That's perfect. And again, we're not going to allow managing the Synology router from this network. And we are going to enable network isolation. So the communication, again, between this network and other local networks will be blocked. Let's go ahead and click on Next. And here, what we're going to do is just take one of the ports. I'll make it port four in this case. And we're going to assign it to the IoT network. And we'll click on Next. And here, we can create a Wi-Fi SSID name for the devices so that they can connect wirelessly to the network. So we're going to go ahead and set up a Wi-Fi name only for this network, and we're going to call it IoT Wi-Fi. And we'll give it a password. And we're going to go ahead and click on Next. And now we just have our summary here, and we're going to go ahead and apply the changes. Okay, now the network changes have been applied. We have a primary network. We have our guest network that we changed to 192.168.20.1 on VLAN ID tag 20. And we have our IoT network, which we created at 192.168.10.1 slash 24. We created an IoT Wi-Fi. And you can click on the edit button if you want to go ahead and modify the Wi-Fi settings. Just click on the Wi-Fi tab and then click on the edit button. And you can see it brings up the Wi-Fi settings. But we're going to go ahead and we'll leave this for another video. Okay, so there's a quick look at how simple it is to add additional local networks on Synology's RT6600 AX router. If you have this device, let me know how you like it. Put that down in the comments below. In the next video, I'll probably create some firewall rules to show you how to segment off the additional networks that we created. So if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out other videos that I have listed here up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share this video. And I want to thank you, as I do in every video, for using the Amazon affiliate links. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. Once again, 
My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, please stay safe. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.